This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt the installations shown in this video. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Welcome to another edition of House Renovation Time. Okay, so this is a dual switch box. This particular switch controls a porch light and I'm going to be installing another switch next to it that will control the lower half of a receptacle. And we call that a half hot receptacle. The top part will be hot all the time and the lower part will be hot when the new switch that I install here is turned on. I currently have the circuit breaker on. Notice that the wires are covered with wire connectors and the switch is wrapped with black electrician's tape and this is for safety while i have the electricity on to make these tests everything needs to be very very safe and i'll have the electricity on just very temporarily while i make the test then i will turn the electricity right back off it's by fluke 1ac voltage sensor and it's sensing voltage right now Okay, so the red wire is hot. The red wire going to this port switch is hot. And this black wire, which will also be going to the switch, is not hot. So we have the red wire being hot, and the black wire is not hot at this point. When it's hooked to a switch, and the switch is turned on, the black wire will also be hot. Okay, before I turn the circuit breaker off, I'm going to make one more test. I have the red lead hooked to the hot red wire here, and I put the black lead to the metal of the box. I have 116 volts AC. So what that tells me is that there's a ground coming behind this metal box. It's the old 1957 grounding method, and so this will be grounded as long as I use self-grounding clip. See, this is a self-grounding clip right here, and the other switch I'm going to put on will also have a self-grounding clip. And I'll make the same test on the receptacle box, and I'm getting 116 volts here as well, which shows that this has a ground wire coming to the back of it. Notice I've wrapped the white neutral wire in white electrician's tape. That's to help insulate the old wire and for color coding as well. I have the circuit breaker turned off now, and everything is reading as not hot. So that's a double check. And so I'm going to go ahead and install this switch. This switch has a self grinding clip right here, so we'll be able to take advantage of the metal grounded box that we tested for. So I'm going to take the red wire and put it to one terminal. Tighten it down securely. These switches, by the way, say top right here. So you put the top on the top. Okay, and there's no ground wire. So I've just screwed in the green grounding terminal. Okay, and I tighten that securely. Push these wires in here. Now I'll wrap this switch in black electrical tape as well. Here's something you may encounter when working on old houses. Your switches are bigger than the cheap little switches that they had. There may be a little extra plaster and you need to carefully remove that plaster. Don't damage your walls or so forth, but just carefully Remove that little extra plaster so that you can get your new switches into the box. And then we move over to our half hot receptacle and I check out all the wires to make sure they're not hot. And as an additional test, I can put my lead in the wire that we know is hot and this one is the neutral and we have 0.0, .0 volts. And that's a double check, so we know that this is not hot. I have this wire wrapped up with black electrician's tape, and this one wrapped up with white electrician's tape, because this is the neutral. 
Because this is a half hot receptacle and the rest of the receptacles in the house are in this orientation, I'm going to put this half hot receptacle in the opposite orientation, which tells people that this is a half hot receptacle. First, I'll hook up the neutral wire, which goes to the silver terminal, which is on the side of the longer slot. So that's where the neutral goes. And the neutral will serve both of the receptacles. This is called a duplex receptacle. And the reason it serves both of them is it's connected right here with a tab. See, so I'm just gonna take the neutral wire and put it right in here and tighten it down securely. Now we're gonna hook up the hot wires. And this is the wire that's hot all the time. Remember we tested that and it was hot all the time. And this is your switch wire. And this wire brings the electrical current to the bottom portion of the switch when the switch is on only. So to accomplish that, we have to break this tab right here. And to break the tab, you get a needle nose pliers and you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Back and forth, and there it is. There's your tab right there. See, that's totally necessary when hooking up a half watt receptacle. You do not break the tab on the neutral side. We are going to have the receptacle in this orientation, and we want this part to be hot all the time. So we take our wire that is hot all the time, and we put it to the upper portion up here. So we're going to put it right in there, and tighten it down securely. So we got the red wire serving our upper portion of the receptacle. Now attach the black wire to the lower brass terminal of the duplex receptacle. There. Okay. So it's going to go like this. This portion is going to be hot all the time. This is going to be switched. And I have the green terminal screwed down all the way. So now I'm going to put black electrician's tape around the receptacle for safety. I have also put the receptacle cover over the switches and I've turned the circuit breaker back on. And I've got two outlet testers, one plugged into each receptacle. The two amber lights means correctly wired and the two green lights on this tester mean correctly wired. Now I'll be turning on and off the switch on the right and you can see that only the lower half of the receptacle is turning on and off while the upper half is staying on all the time. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector and the Fluke 117 electrician's meter and I'll put links for the Leviton Decora Plus switches and receptacles. And I'll put a link in my video description where students can get Amazon Prime free for six months. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.